Hey what's going on YouTube, UA Reviews here, and today I've got a review video on the Under Armour Alter Ego Superman Crew Socks. Alright, so I got these not too long ago and I've uh, done a little testing with them and I'm ready to uh, do my review on the Alter Ego Superman Socks. Uh, so this is kind of going to be a, just a general review in all of the Alter Ego Socks. There's nothing really different between, say, the Batman version of these or the uh, Spider-Man, you know, whatever. The Superman's, you know, they're all the same. It's just this one has the Superman logo on it. Um, these socks are originally priced for um, $14.99, so around $15. And here's the packaging they come in. They come in various sizes. They'll come in youth, youth sizes, mediums, and larges. I've never seen an XL in these socks yet. So that was the biggest uh, <clears throat> the biggest size, and I had to get that size. Normally, I would I actually measure up as an XL, but um, the large size fits great. Uh, sometimes with those extra large socks, they're a little bit longer because they got a little more uh, room on the feet. But uh, give you an overall look of the socks. Here's what they look like uh, from the front front view. So if you were standing, you know, if you were face if I was facing you, you'd see this. You'd see these two Under, Under, Under Armour logos here on the front, and then these two that are kind of hidden down here. And then there's nothing really to say really about the, uh, you know, the black part here. Uh, the bottom part of the sock, um, you know, the, the foot part, footbed of the sock is all cushioned. Uh, it's not the best cushioning I've seen. Uh, it is kind of a step up from, um, it's got more cushioning, I would say, than the Ignite socks from last se last season. Uh, you got your size there, uh, but yeah, it's a fair amount of padding. I'll give the the socks that I enjoyed running in them, and that's kind of how I tested them. Uh, one thing that's really nice about them is they're they're really stretchy, so it's not it's not going to feel like they're going to be too big um, on me. My feet are kind of narrow, so um, they fit really well. They fit nice and tight. Um, and on the back, uh, you know the big. Big seller, you know, the big thing that draws people, you know, to the attention of these socks is obviously their Superman edition uh, socks. Uh, you know, we do also have, you know, other var various uh, colors in these. You know, there's the Batman version of these, uh, Captain America, Spider Man, and, and a few others. But um, at first, when I when I first saw these socks, I saw them. I think it was around. It was late last year when they came out. It was shortly after all the the big alter ego stuff came out, like the compression shirts and their uh, performance shirts. And I saw these at first, didn't like them at all. I thought they were kind of silly. Um, but you know, it's been a. I just I was looking for some new socks to review, and I, I didn't want to totally, I guess, not review these because eventually I was I knew at some point I was going to have to review them. Uh, you know, y'all didn't cry out for help too much on these socks but um you know for me to get them and review them but i decided to go ahead and uh you know do get them and try them out and just test them out and i was and i mean here's my overall opinion on these socks it's going to be real short and easy the socks are 15 dollars, and i really feel like there's nothing for 15 dollars. all you're buying is the dc uh comics uh logos so you're paying extra money for the superman logo and that's that comes with the territory but these socks pretty much perform like an eight or a nine dollar sock and I've reviewed eight or nine dollar socks before and they've performed better than these now I like the fact that they're cushioned uh, I like the style of them I like the color but they don't give you anything else like if, if I'm gonna pay a few bucks more I want something that's gonna you know be over the top I want something that's gonna uh, separate the sock from you know other socks Pretty much, um, I'm surprised the sock wasn't even higher, like around twenty dollars. But it's at a reasonable price. I don't know. If, it's not reasonable for me for one pair of socks for fifteen dollars. I have paid more for socks, but I mean, I feel like uh, you know, it's just the stuff's kind of just not for me. I don't. I, the only reason why I got these is I like the colorway. I like the red and black colorway. Some of the other colorways I don't really. I don't. Like well, well, I I like to kind of match, you know, with what I'm wearing. So I've got you know some workout stuff that you know matches this. So I just decided to get those. That was really the purpose, and I wanted to review them just to kind of get my review out and 
pretty much plain and simple. I I think the socks they could be better. You know, if they do make different versions of these socks, um, you know, make them something that sets sets these socks apart from something else. You know, what what makes the socks different? They don't and, and with this version of this sock, it's not really any different from uh, you know, another sock that's you know going to have less. I guess less. Uh, it's going to have less into it. I guess uh, you know, just simpler socks. Uh, you know, plain, plain Jane socks. They're you know that you know maybe for one pair is going to cost you around eight dollars. This one costs seven bucks more. It's just like I said, they perform like an eight or a nine dollar sock. So the only thing I wish that these would these could be better in is they just like they something sets themselves apart. So that's really my review. What I'm going to do right now is just kind of show you what they look like on feet. I'm not going to really talk a whole lot about them on feet because uh, there's just not a whole lot to talk about. So I'll go ahead and slip them on right quick. All right, so here are the Alter Ego Superman socks on feet. So like I said, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about them. I'm just going to kind of show you what they look like from kind of all angles so you can kind of get an idea there. Uh, one last thing that I wanted to kind of quickly talk about was this um, this little print here on the bottom of the, the sock. There's only a, this is only on one of the socks, but it says DC Comics and it's something that says S13. Um, that may be size 13. I'm not sure exactly what that stands for. And it's also got a little Superman little logo there. But that was something that really came off really easy just in one run that I did. Like this was already peeling off, and you know it's really just hard to see. It used to say DC. Uh, what I really hope that these socks are able to do is they're able to last a long time. I'm hoping that these socks don't develop a hole or anything, uh, you know, after repeated use. I hope that these, you know, if I put the $15 into them, the best thing that I hope I can get out of these socks is that they last a long time. So that's going to do it for my review. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it helped you out. Check back next week for another review, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.